In the previous video, we looked at the top five reasons why children join and stay in sport. Here, we are going to look at the opposite, the things that put them off. Well, some of these may surprise you too. Here they come. Children drop out of sport for five main reasons. One, when they don't feel confident and competent. Two, when it becomes too serious. Three, when the main focus is on winning. Four, when coaches have favorites. And five, when parents and coaches are pushy. Let's go one by one again. First, when children don't feel confident and competent, they are at a higher risk of dropping out. If the activities we do with the kids don't give them sufficient levels of confidence and competence, we are going to struggle to keep them engaged and happy. From that point to dropping out, there's only a very small step. Second, children say that when sport becomes too serious, they don't like it. This is another reminder that sport belongs to the children and that playing is their main motivation. Pep Guardiola, the legendary football coach, he says that young children should do three things. Play, play and play. So coaches should make the most of the children's desire to play. The third reason why children drop out is an excessive focus on winning. It's not that children don't care about winning, but study after study shows that is not the most important thing for them. Adults who are fixated with keeping score and the win-loss record are actually doing children a disservice and increasing their chances of dropping out. Fourth on the list, children don't like it when coaches have favorites. Every child deserves our full attention, no matter how skillful or gifted. Coaches must ensure that all children feel valued. Coaches, please make sure to learn every child's name and say hello when they come in. And please, please, please give every child a little bit of your time in every session. Finally, the last major dropout factor identified by children is pushy parents and coaches. Forcing children to train more than they want to is a big no. Stopping them from doing other things they like, such as spending time with friends, watching TV or doing homework, has a big impact on dropout rates. Even for children who move into the performance pathway, we should be careful not to expect too much too early. So, to summarize, positive sport experience for children are not about winning or becoming a pro. Those are things that some adults value and want from sport. But children want to have fun, feel competent, learn something, be with friends and share something with their parents. And they don't like it when it's too serious, when winning is the most important thing, when coaches have favorites and when parents and coaches push them too hard. It's that simple. We have to be very careful not to suck the enjoyment right out of sport. Our attitudes influence what they make out of it. If we value winning, they will fixate on that. If we value learning, friendship and enjoyment, they will too. Just remember, children are not many adults. But if you don't believe me, please listen to the kids on this video. Something went in my eye. <laughs> Testing. Getting my hands on the footy and you know, just being with my mates. I like like having fun. Just being around your friends and enjoying yourself. I like being outdoors. It just makes me happy. Having fun I think is the main thing. 
because it doesn't really matter if you win, at least you get to play. And if you lose, it's not the end of the world. I don't like it when people get yelled at or when I get yelled at. It's pretty embarrassing when someone's shouting at you halfway through the game. Watch your passes. You're so bad. You're not that great. It's mainly how they say it. Well, it makes me feel like I'm useless and I can't do anything. I saw a father bashing his own son. And all the parents were arguing with each other. It was really stressful and it made me just not feel good at all. I, I stopped because I was being yelled at and it just wasn't any fun anymore. He, he's not put on this earth to, to be bashed, to be stripped of his confidence. Yeah, they don't understand that I'm doing my best, so... Just stop, stop. Would you please, like, stop yelling at me on the court because it's making me feel like I can't do it anymore. If they've got to yell out, they could say, like, something encouraging. Things like, good job. Or good pass. You're good, just keep trying and you'll get there. Oh, that was a great job. You're doing great. Try as hard as you can. When I hear people yelling from the sidelines, I want them to say, good job. We're just kids. Just let us have fun, let us do what we love. We're just here to have fun. Just let kids be kids. Thanks for watching and see you soon.